Hey everybody, it's Lavender Town, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking the pieces from chess and turning them into scary characters. Now, I'm starting off, of course, with the pawn. Um, pawns are probably the first piece that everyone learns how to move when they're learning to play chess, and they are the piece that you have the most of. They're the entire front line. Um, so the thing about pawns is that they move forward in a straight line and they capture at diagonal. So I thought for this character, I definitely wanted to use the actual silhouette of a pawn piece. So you can kind of see me uh, building her off of that um, and I gave her this cute little bowl cut just because it reminds me of that round little top shape of the pawn um, and I wanted her to be the smallest and youngest looking the interesting thing about pawns is that if you can get them all the way across the board you can obviously swap them out with any other piece um, I would always pick the queen of course because she's the most powerful piece um, but yeah that transforming quality is only something that a pawn can do and I think that's something that makes them really interesting. Um, to show that the pawn takes diagonally, I was trying to do a pose where the character looks a little bit uh, insecure, but also that she has these blades in two different directions pointing like diagonally outward from her. So I did a couple different versions where she's kind of got her arms crossed um, over herself because I thought it would sort of communicate both of those things at the same time and I knew right away that I wanted to um, give her sort of a, a monochromatic color palette. I wanted to do that with all of the characters um, because most chess pieces or chess boards come with pieces that are black and white. Um, obviously there are some that come in like wood colors or whatever kind of color but typically black and white is what everyone's working with um, so I definitely wanted to have black and white be heavy, heavily featured uh, alongside some little pops of another color. I picked a warm red color for her. Um, I wanted her to look a little scary and a little beat up as well because um, as anyone who's played chess before knows, pawns are usually the ones that you offer up and kind of like throw away to trick your opponent into putting themselves in a worse position. Sometimes you'll dangle a pawn out as bait. Um, so I feel like that is the type of character that we're dealing with here. She's someone who's um, definitely had to take some hard knocks um, in in life but she has the capacity to be the best um, and I think that's why like narratively a pawn would probably be the most interesting character if there was a show or something or a webcomic about chess pieces because like they're the only piece with a canonical character arc you know the pawn can become more than what they start out as and that is not true for any other piece as far as I understand I should probably mention that I'm not amazing at chess but I do like to play it sometimes the next piece I want to draw is the knight. Uh, now knights have been my favorite piece ever since I learned how to play chess when I was little. Um, just because they're so strange, the fact that they can jump over pieces and that they move in that strange L pattern. All the other pieces tend to follow some kind of straight or diagonal line, um, whereas uh, the knight moves in a completely custom way that even the queen cannot emulate. Um, so I always thought of them as interesting and when I was thinking about what the character of a uh, character based on a knight would be, I actually thought they might be a little bit shiftier and sneakier, and more diplomacy oriented, even though when you think about it, like this is the only piece that's really named in such a way that it sounds like an actual like piece of the cavalry, like a knight, you know, you picture them with the sword and everything, but I was just thinking about how you actually move the knight and how I think a lot of people lose pieces to knights because it's harder to keep track of all the places that they can go. Um, because of their unusual pattern. So I tried to incorporate some little L shapes into his outfit, as well as creating this sort of chest piece with this pinned cape that looks like a horse with its mane. Um, I thought that was kind of cute. Um, I wanted him to look like large and powerful, but not overtly aggressive again, because I feel like the knight is a sneakier piece. Um, uh, outside of the queen because of how many moves she can make, I do feel like knights are kind of the ones you have to keep an eye on. You can get distracted and not realize um, that you're in, in their line of sight, as it were. Um, I also gave him this little headpiece. I generally wanted him to look like the knight piece without actually giving him like a, you know, Bojack horse head or something. Um, and uh, I just wanted him to look very like gallant and almost sort of approachable. Again, I was trying to get this idea of like diplomacy 
and I started off with the colors in complete monochrome. Um, I wanted him to look uh, very like strikingly uh, chess chess like <laughs> that the monochrome skin and hair and everything I think is really interesting while having uh, like his cape be red and his other pieces uh, being gold um, I just think it looks kind of cool and I imagine he would be like really friendly and easy to get along with but maybe he might betray you <laughs> um, that was definitely the vibe I was sort of going for oh and of course um, feel free to name any of these characters if you have any ideas Next up is the most powerful and best piece in the entire game, and that is the Queen. Um, for those of you who have not played chess or do not know, the Queen can move diagonally, straight across. Um, she's very, very powerful. She basically moves in this like star pattern, um, and it makes her extremely dangerous, and it's also very devastating to lose her. Um, from your army <laughs> when you are playing. Um, so I definitely wanted her to have this checkerboard dress. I thought that would look really cool. Um, and I knew I wanted her to look almost a little monstrous, a little bit scary. Um, my original like sketch I had of her before I even started the video, she did. She was sort of like faceless. Um, I ended up going back on that a bit and I wanted to give her two different weapons since she has you know so many options in attacking. Um, she uh, has quite a monstrous and scary face. Uh, I feel like she ended up looking a little more cartoony um, and I wanted her to have these like spikes behind her both to represent the ways that she can move on the board as well as um, some queen pieces have these little like this little type of crown like it almost looks like the ends of like a jester's cap but sort of up in like a s splashing motion and then I also gave her another type of crown which is another common top of a queen piece um, and I wanted to give her these big scary weapons again like I said just to show the versatility of how she can attack um, I wanted her to look like she could be fast I mean she's one of those pieces um, like the bishop who can travel all the way across the board very rapidly um, and put herself in positions where suddenly you're in a lot of trouble um, when you least expect it um, for her, I wanted to emphasize more of the red just as a uh, sort of color that humans associate with danger a lot. She is sort of the most dangerous. I feel like with the um, the back of her like spine, like little little starburst hair piece that I gave her, when it's the same color as her hair, it just looks like a strange hairstyle. So I did end up changing that. Um, but uh, yeah, she almost reminded me of like olive oil from Popeye for a minute. Um, and I definitely didn't like that. I gave her these scary gray teeth, which I think are kind of interesting. I haven't really played around with characters having differently colored teeth. And that's something I would recommend, especially if you're trying to do a character who's a little scary, like, um, or old or anything like that like just giving them like gray or yellowy teeth can make them look sort of interesting um, and then I just did a lot of like alternated black and white um, and that is her design done so that is the first half of the chess pieces in a standard game of chess uh, drawn as characters uh, let me know if you guys would like to see the other three done and thank you so much for watching till the end I'll see you in the next one Huge thank you to my wonderful patrons, including Stan Soup, Liddy Savior, Roro, Birds on a Wire, Emmy Lightning, Rayon, Sporple Matt, Brandon Stark, CB, Lucy Amajiki, Liv Liv, Salty Jackrabbit, Raven's Crow, Sasala, Tea Hill Music, Jabber Dabber Doo, Gender Was Stolen, Kadaria, Astro Fox Art, The Expressive Poker Face, Tsubaki, Cutie Pie, Ruin Raincrow, Ice Cream Pal, Cola, JJ Jade, and of course, Liv 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 Liv.